Hey everybody and welcome to Sunny Days and today is the unboxing and first impressions of the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. I've just got the phone last night uh, pretty late and I thought I'll do an early morning unboxing for you. So here we go. So if you look at the box it's pretty standard uh, Samsung Z Fold fair a very ordinary looking box. I think that's one area where I'll start off with a little bit of a criticism for Samsung that uh, when you sell such an expensive phone you should have some kind of a premium unboxing. If you see my previous videos with the Techno Phantom V Fold you can see the kind of box they have given. I mean forget about the accessories included which I'll come to later but the kind of box that they have given is so exquisite and so premium. Uh, it's really nice and you know you feel that you it's your it's well worth your money so that's one thing that samsung really needs to do so now just let's quickly go ahead and unbox the phone and see what's inside actually i already opened the phone last night and uh, just put it back in so we can do another unboxing today Wow. Well, whatever you say, you have to give it to Samsung for the kind of finish and build quality that they have on their fold phones and this is no exception. So here it is. This is the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 in the icy blue color. I hope you're able to see the color properly in this light. Yeah, it's really lovely and the first thing as you as I am noticing here is it's pretty light compared to the earlier folds let's unfold it yeah this is an exquisite piece of engineering and of course you know the biggest change that they have this year is that it folds completely flat there is no gap in the hinge now and it's really quite sleek and premium the display of course is 120 hertz and it's one of the best panels i ever seen i think by far the best panel and you know you can't beat samsung when it comes to their displays and this is really no exception amazing 120 hertz display everything is so smooth so you see the outer cover screen is also 120 hertz and of course it's quite a premium looking screen but the main gripe that i have and always will have is it could have been just a little bit more wider but anyway it's an amazing looking screen and everything is clear i have started probably getting used to this kind of a narrow cover screen now of course the display is also 120 hertz adaptable fantastic and the phone completely is, you know, it, it looks very similar to the Z Fold 4, but it's lighter. And, you know, it, it feels much more compact and well engineered, let's put it that way. You know, uh, with this kind of a completely flat folding hinge, uh, it feels much more premium. And I just love these uh, stainless steel uh, edges. The finish gives a very premium look. So let's see what else we get in the box. Of course, uh, you have the phone itself and then you have there's a cable inside and there is a SIM eject tool inside and of course some documentation which no one reads and that's about it. And uh, this is really what Samsung needs to work on because come on, you're, you're selling such an expensive phone and uh, you just provide such a bare bones minimum package with the phone not even a case and not even a charger come on samsung you have to at least give us that you know and after paying so much for this phone so this was my first unboxing and impressions video for the samsung galaxy z fold 5 and uh, i will be coming back with the full review very soon after i put it to good use hope you enjoyed this unboxing and first impressions this is sunny from sunny day signing off 
have a lovely day